Yo, man. This is, this has got to be the craziest week in wrestling, at least for the last decade or so. The last good five years, decade, especially for WWE. Jesus Christ. Hello, welcome. Alex's World, just Alex. Let's get into it. This McMahon has stepped down as the CEO and chairman of WWE during this whole investigation into his alleged affair where he paid off some paralegal, female paralegal that he pawned off like a sex toy or a toy to John Laronitis and gave her $3 million to stay quiet. Hush money. This is insane. I talked in detail about the affair in a live stream. So if you want information on that, please go back and watch that live stream. I might end up reading some details here because it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, people want to know. It's everywhere. This story has blown up. Vince McMahon is going to be on Friday Night Smackdown tonight to most likely address it. And guess what? There will be a live stream. So if you're watching this after the fact, go watch my live stream or check out my live stream. I'm telling you, this is a big, big story. I'm going to read it to you. I'll give you my reaction. And then I'm gonna get out of here. There will most likely be a link to this down below. If you haven't already read it, most of you have already read this and you're looking for my reaction. So let's get to it. This McMahon is stepping aside from his role as CEO and chairman of World Wrestling Entertainment during an investigation into a report that he agreed to pay hush money to a former female employee over an alleged affair. WWE said in a release that a special committee of the board is conducting an investigation into the alleged misconduct by its chairman and CEO, Vincent McMahon. And Joel Aronitis! And that effectively, immediately, McMahon has voluntarily, so he wasn't fired or told to step down, he voluntarily stepped down from his responsibilities as CEO and chairman of the board until a conclusion is met. Vince McMahon is cooperating with the inquiry, WWE said, it will... Of course, and will retain his role and responsibilities as the head of WWE Creative. Sorry, those of you who thought he wouldn't have any influence over SmackDown, Raw, or pay-per-views going forward, you still gotta deal with them. But check this out. In the meantime, McMahon's daughter, Stephanie McMahon, will serve as interim CEO and chairwoman of the WWE. And again, you are free to go get these details yourself. It's everywhere. ESPN, Yahoo, Google, just Google Vince McMahon CEO and read it for yourself. What else is there to say? Other than the chickens have come home to roost. Karma is a bitch. And eventually all of this was going to catch up to Vince. This man has been getting away with murder. Not figuratively, but actually, literally, he might have actually gotten away with murder. He didn't kill anybody, but a wrestler might have killed someone, Jimmy Snuka, and he might have covered it up. So there's also the steroid trial, many kinds of scandals and public embarrassments, including the Chris Benoit situation. He survived all of it. It was like he was made of Teflon for decades and decades. An inspiration to many business women and men. It's kind of sad what got him was an affair he didn't need to have. Now let's talk about this. I don't think this McMahon having an affair should be that shocking. And I said this in my live stream. If you're a millionaire, billionaire, you have access to so many people. And I'm talking about men or women. It doesn't matter where you float your boat. You can have access to so many people in terms of whatever kink that you are into. When you got money, that stuff just comes to you. I'm not surprised that he had an affair. I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that he has all sorts of baby mamas like Nick Cannon does across the world. The thing that got me was when I read he pawned off the paralegal to John Laronitis as in like a sex toy, like a toy. Sexual coercion is not a good look. If the $3 million he paid her was WWE money and not his own? That, that will do it. It feels like everything is hitting Vince all at once. You know what? After a while, what you do in the dark comes to the light. I had to wonder, is this why Stephanie left? I actually think it's kind of funny too that after burying Stephanie, say she was a bad businesswoman, she's the one they bring in to take over when he has to step down. Don't you think that's kind of funny? I don't know. I, I feel like things are about to change, hopefully for the better when it comes to WWE. 
And if he has to step down permanently, the thing is, they'll be okay for the next two or three years because they have guaranteed money coming in with Fox. Hopefully, that stays intact. After WrestleMania 40, which is in 2024, we'll have to see. By the way, forget the background noise. That's nothing I can do. That's just what's gonna be. If Vince is not there, that could influence some things. Although, if Stephanie McMahon is in charge, that means Triple H will be in charge of creative. Sorry about the background noises, folks. Hopefully he doesn't come in too hard. If Stephanie is in charge, she will definitely put Triple H in charge of creative, which could be great for the product. And it should be that way, honestly. I don't know why Vince still has to have power over WWE during an investigation. That makes no sense. Although it's his baby, so whatever. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe this is how it should be. Vince is too old for this anyways. I understand this is his baby but he can still make money as a stockholder. He doesn't need to have influence on the day-to-day -day operations, including weekly TV. The man is out of touch, the man is senile. I would love for Stephanie to go on as the chairwoman of WWE and let Triple H run the creative part. I think that's how it should be, anyways. And it's sad that it had to come to this for us to get to this point because he couldn't keep his genetic jackhammer in his pants. This man, this man might live forever, honestly. He might outlive us all. If he's that healthy, if he's that well endowed in his 70s, Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah, man, this is insane. Give me your thoughts. Where do you all sit on this? How do you feel about Stephanie McMahon being the CEO? How do you feel about Vince McMahon still being in charge of creative? And do you think this should be what it is? Are you cool with Stephanie staying in charge as the CEO, as a chairwoman of WWE, and then having Triple H Writing creative. I think that's how it should be. That could change a lot of things for the better when it comes to WWE. And also, do you think John Levinias will be fired? I think he will be. I can already see it happening right now. John Levinias being released. I mean, last I checked, he was married to the Bella Twins' his mother, right? That makes him Brian Danielson's father-in-law. Ooh, that's not good. That ain't good at all. Yeah, he might be fired. He's gone insane and we still got more to go because there's a smackdown and apparently there's more to go so tune in to my review or live review of smackdown tonight be there be there until next time this is alex just alex signing off right here in alex's world safe space for wrestling fans like you jesus christ